What is up guys, The Case is here, and today we're working on part 7 of us making a social media app. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. And if this video helps you guys in any way, please leave a big thumbs up. Let's get right into it. So, over here, um, today we're going to be working on our comments. VC, sell thing. Um, let's set up a reuse identifier um, on our comment cell which we created in the last episode. So we're name that comment cell. If you guys don't set an identifier, um, the table view won't know which cell to be rendering, um, so it won't work. Save that. And over here in the view, we're gonna create a new file. And it's gonna be Cocoa Touch class, and it's gonna be called UI table view cell. There we go. And we're gonna name this comment cell click enter and uh, create okay so we're here in the comment cell it's very similar to our post cell um, so we could really uh, copy this stuff but um, let's see here we have a username we have a post it really is a post. So the comment is a post, but just in a different little, little different form, because uh, it's just text, a user's image, a username. So why not just uh, copy this and reuse it? It's gonna look a little different, of course. Um, ideally, we could probably use a super class and all that stuff, but it's all right. We'll do this for right now. Simplicity. Is a good idea, and we have to import Firebase, of course. Save that. Oh, spell import right though. <laughs> Save that. Uh, everything here should be working. So it's a post to current user. Let like current user. Why do we want current user? Not sure why we set that in there. All right, that's looking, it's looking good. Uh, let's head back over to our main storyboard, and this cell is going to be of type comment cell. Perfect. And now over here, we can right-click on the comment cell and link stuff up. So our post text is going to go to post text. Our user image is going to go to the user image, and our username is going to go to the username. And I think that's it. Perfect. And uh, now we just got to work on the comments we see, I believe. So when we click on a post comments, it segues us to the new view, uh, which loads the comments. So let's get on that. Uh, controller, new file. Touch class um, UI table view. Um, is it UI table view controller? Yeah, UI table view controller. It's gonna be comments BC. Create that. And our comments BC is gonna be very similar to our. Um, Our comments is going to be very similar to our um, data cell, so uh, our data cell, our post cells. So we can copy a couple functions over here uh, from our feed BC. Sorry. So get posts. Let's copy that. And let's go over here to comments, and we're going to paste that underneath. Uh, did receive memory warning, even though we don't really need the did receive memory warning. And we're going to call this get comments. Perfect. And we're going to call it up here. Um, get comments. Perfect. And this is going to be um, text posts dot. Um, we have a variable called current post. Or post, I guess of type post and um, dot child post 
dot post key. Okay. Um, and then dot comments. Dot child comments. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, so when we add a comment over here on the fee post, uh, no, post is just posting in our comments VC. Um, you can also comment. I kind of forgot about that, didn't I? Um, no, it's fine. We have to import uh, Firebase up here at the top. Perfect. Um, okay. And then we're just going to have our posts. Even though the comments, um, it's a type post, so we can just save this. Type post. Save that. So it's going to be going to our text post, then it's going to get the post key, and then it's going to look for the child comments, and then the comments is going to load almost like the feed VC load stuff. So number of sections, we're going to return posts.count. And then number of rows is going to be one, number of rows in section. Yeah, one. I hope that's right. We shall find out, I guess. Uh, self row, okay, and this is gonna be comment so say that. And then uh, this is gonna be as um, actually uh, we're, we're gonna create a so table view that we use comment cell as post cell or comment cell actually. Comment cell. Okay. Save that. And we're gonna put a guard let statement here, like we did earlier, I believe. Um else. There we go, perfect. And then we can say down here cell dot config cell. Um, and post is going to be uh, posts index path that row. Okay. And that should be loading up everything. Um, I think we just delete this boilerplate code. There's no need for it right now. And then, um, yeah, that's looking good. It should uh, get our comments, if there is comments, and then, uh, I think this is just a bug, a formatting bug uh, with Dexco. Um, perfect. So that should be working. Um, I guess we could test it. I don't want to test it on the, sh the, the video because my computer is so slow, it's going to take forever. And uh, it'll just be annoying for you and annoying for me when I'm editing the video because I'll have to like take a huge gap in the edit um, and it's just wasting time really. Um, so if you guys see an error, leave a comment below. Uh, you can let me know. But uh, otherwise, uh, I think we're good in this video. In the next video, we, we can work on getting um, commenting, uh, almost like making a post, but it's gonna be for comments. And. Um, and we should be about done. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't liked the video already, please drop a like on it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every Thursday and uh, live stream sometimes. But uh, it's lit on this channel. We've gone over 1,000 subscribers. Uh, so hit that sub button. It means a lot. Thank you guys. Peace out.